Hi friends, George in here. So today I'm going to talk about whether it is worth it to go to graduate school in Australia as I was born and raised in Japan all my life and actually graduated from an Australian graduate school just two months ago. Last December 2022, I graduated from the University of Queensland with a Master of Environmental Management. I mainly focused on how to propose effective solutions to environmental issues based on risk assessment and developing an understanding of environmental science from basic knowledge to apply the approach is at UQ. In more detail, I learned about fire management, like how to mitigate bushfire in Australia, and conservation planning, GIS, like how remotely sensed images are acquired, and environmental problem solving, environmental economics, environmental risk assessment about natural disaster, and environmental law and policy. So yeah, it's really environmental studies. Let me get straight to the point. I can confidently say that going to graduate school in Australia was worth it. There are three reasons why I think so. The First is connections with people. I met a friend who was on the same graduate course as me and who maturely added my year in terms of study and personality. I met him in a group project in one of my classes where he always asks the professor a lot of questions, answers even the most difficult questions, organizes the group member really well, and always has his own opinions, which are always very radical and convincing. When I saw the side of him, I started to think I can't lose. I want to learn from him and grow even more. And he often inspired me to make progress in my graduate studies. It was impactful because I have not felt that way from my friend's behavior very often in my life and meeting even one such person was a huge benefit of my graduate life. And yeah, he will continue to be my role model. Other than him, I was stimulated by the great enthusiasm for environmental studies of the students around me, many of whom had a serious attitude toward their studies, which kept me motivated in my own studies. And I often took class classes from top-notch professors who are also from prestigious universities like Cambridge and Harvard or were world renowned in their field. It's really valuable to be able to connect with such great people. The connections I met at a local company, like an internship in Brisbane, were also made because I studied at graduate school here. Secondly, I was able to reaffirm that I was born into a privileged environment. During my graduate life in Australia, my parents paid for high tuition fees that scholarships could not cover and I saw many homeless people on the streets and I always felt that I was born into an privileged environment and I was allowed to do things that ordinary families could not do. This has given me a greater sense of mission to give back to society in the field of environmental studies and this sense of mission has helped me to like decide on my future career path and will help me to maintain my motivation in my future work. My parents paid my tuition fees at my junior high school, high school and university as a matter of course and they also supported me to go on to the graduate school overseas. But there are people for whom this is not obvious. And I strongly reaffirmed that what is obvious is not obvious. And I through my graduate studies, I was able to remember not to take my daily life for granted and to be grateful for it, which was a growth for me. Yes, I will continue to be careful not to be insensitive to happiness and gratitude. Thirdly, I have a clear idea of the career I want to pursue. Before I went to graduate school in Australia, I I totally didn't know what kind of work I wanted to do after graduation. But during my graduate life here, I became more interested in environmental consultancy and ecologist work through a research internship was in a local company in Brisbane, working on the conservation area expansion project in Queensland, Australia, and learning about conservation policy, effective solutions to environmental issues, and how to develop a conservation action plan for a region existing through the classes. And for the first time, I realized that I wanted to work in the field in the near future. That's a big step for me as I was in my senior year of university and had no idea what my future would be. I think I was better defined my career partly because Australia as a country has a high awareness of the natural environment and partly because my graduate school, UQ, is the most highly regarded in the country in the field of environmental science. The fourth is that I can talk and connect with all kinds of people from all over the world. Australia is an immigrant country that has welcomed many immigrants. International students come from many different countries and it's possible to talk and connect with them. I actually made Spanish, French, Chinese, Vietnamese, Indian, Colombian, and Singaporean friends here. Also, there are frequent international events at my graduate school and I even attended an Indian festival at my uni where I ate Indian food and danced with Indians, which made me feel like I was studying in India, even though I was in Australia. Also, the people 
in Australia are very friendly and many of them have been willing to be filmed while the camera is working for YouTube. And I have ever been bought drinks by complete strangers on several occasions, which is something I cannot experience in Japan. Talking to people of different nationalities and being exposed to a wide variety of cultures gave me a sense of their values adding to my own. And it was like learning about a world I didn't know existed and my life became even more colorful. Next time I talk about the skills gained during my graduate study, there are three things that I gained during my graduate study. The first is that my listening skills have improved dramatically. I feel that my English listening skills have improved more than before I came to Australia compared to other skills. I originally had a listening skill of about I at 7.0 and wasn't insanely bad at it. But there were a number of times when I talked to native speakers that I couldn't understand them because they spoke too fast. And a number of times I couldn't understand the English of people who spoke as the second language because of their accent. But I can confidently say that my hearing has become used to it and my listening skills have improved more than before because of the daily conversations with Aussies throughout my internship and talking to friends or doing their group work. The second is critical and logical thinking skills. Every semester in graduate school, I wrote some research paper on difficult topics which required a lot of time to write. For example, in a conservation policy class, I critically analyzed the documents like the biodiversity targets by 2030 published by the UN Convention on Biological Diversity in 4,000 words to describe improvements to the targets. And in the environmental problem solving class, I worked on assignments that used a problem solving framework to assess the current state of the particular environmental problem from an ecological and economic perspective and come up with a solution. Yes, it was not just reading paper and a writing report, but actually outputting my own way of thinking about a certain thing according to a set decision making structure. So I had to use my head a lot. And I feel that my thought process is gradually changing. And I was able to develop my logical thinking skills by writing papers with clear evidence for what I want to argue so that the readers can understand. And I was able to develop my critical thinking skills by always objectively questioning the facts in many articles and thinking about whether there are any contradictory facts in my writing and connecting them to collect logic. The third is a mindset and confidence that is not afraid of failure. I have always had an unfounded self-confidence since I was a child and I was the kind of person who would try anything but when I went abroad, it was a different story. I couldn't participate in discussions with native speakers in graduate school in Australia and I feared that I would be forced to compete on the same level as native speakers so I felt as if the confidence I had in myself was disappearing. But somehow I managed to preserve you without fear of failure and eventually managed to get more than 90 marks in my research paper and I was able to get the position for the industry placement at a local company in Brisbane and I gradually learned how to behave comfortably in English and I was taught by a professor that my paper was at publication level and I was asked to publish it. Yes, these experiences helped me regain the confidence I had lost. Literally, I have been able to build up real confidence here. If I fail in anything in the future, the wall of confidence I have built up through the hardships of this study abroad experience will protect me from severe hardship. That's all. These are the things I felt were worthwhile about going to graduate school in Australia and the skills I gained. Yeah, overall, I feel that going to graduate school in Australia was worth it. I myself was born and raised in Japan all my life and did not speak any English until my last year of my high school. But even so, I feel that I have resolved a lot of things and gone as a person to study in Australia. I will be very happy if I share with you today. We will have to those who are planning to go on to a graduate school in Australia. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please feel free to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!